As the Ice Age in our evolution simulation came to an end on June 15th, the community voted to have the meltwater raise sea levels slightly. For Liridian and Spora, this means more shallow water around the coast, turning their shores into a paradise for aquatic plants and the animals that feed on them. On Calapalypse, the Liridian sap feeder already had small vestigial limbs, but in its descendants, these have grown into larger paddles, useful for steering through the flooded lowlands. For Retenbria, and especially Chardar, the rising sea level has had a much larger impact, creating several new, smaller islands. For these islands too, the main inhabitants descend from an Oncalopalypse, most likely all from a small group of individuals swimming from Liridian. But because of genetic drift, they look notably different here. These animals can easily swim between the various islands, so they form a single gene pool. Most plants, on the other hand, are no longer able to cross water. This isolation, combined with the wildly different climates, gives the flora on each island a unique look. <laughs>